deepest um st um experience of this person. This person's name is Blanche. I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong or his name. Yeah, her. And I'm just gonna get right into it. And yeah, Blanche Cook is a student, a mother, and a survivor of a dramatic and intimate partner violence. After being held captive by her husband, she was in the hospital with life-threatening injuries and was in a severe condition. Her mother was contacted by the doctor and was absolutely terrified and heartbreak broke broken to hear of her mother's daughter's condition. And immediately she drove from home to South Carolina to Florida to be by her daughter's side. Her mother was very supportive and felt like Blanche, Blanche, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry, was safe, protected, and in good hands where she, when she was in the hospital. It happened so fast. By the time I woke up in the hospital, I felt overwhelmed. I was in complete shell shock. Everyone around me had already found out, but I didn't even know how yet. It was the most difficult situation I had been through in my whole life. I was just so relieved that I had relieved to have my mother's support. I was so lost and had no idea how to restart my life all over. The sheriff of medicine at the hospital gave orders to only release Blan Blan Blanche to protect dramatic violence shelter. The social worker then relocated her. Now she was safe and could get access resources assist her moving forward. She knew the road ahead would be ha would be would have some challenges. However, she did not know that this horrific incident landed on her and her ex-husband right on the front of the newspaper and national news outlines. I was very shocked at first. I never thought that it would happen to me. It, as hard as everything was to accept, it ended up helping me so much in the healing journey. I didn't have to explain my story to anyone really. For myself, all of the attention just re reminded me of what I just survived and how I would never, ha never look back on again. My whole life changed. I took my wedding rings off and started healing. I'm think thankful the media did not portrayed me my story out of the context i pray that by being on the media it will help someone looking back on her marriage she now can recount the early signs of her husband's abusive behavior we were married for six years and i had one son before the incident happened Leading up to the incident, he was abuse, abusing drugs and having amounts of alcohol. He started suffering with bipolar six, schizophrenia episodes with which he refused any type of professional help. His alcohols, alcoholism got so severe he failed to, pro, to pan, eh, proceed and become a one-type diabetic. 
he had to complete control of my life. I had no family, no friends, and all my time was dedicated to his illnesses. There was no, so many red flags. It was unfortunate that many of them happened so quickly and led to a very horrific in incident. For those experience abuse and weight gaining and discuss decision rather or not to come forward, she, she shares her thoughts for survivors. I would tell them that they would o can overcome this and heal process. Process is not an easy process, but it's definitely worth it to have in your life back after abuse. Sexual violence is is most often is perpetrated uh, by someone who a survivor knows. And this includes par the partners. She shares her wishes um, someone would have told her about partner abuse. I wish someone would have reached out to me when I started distancing everyone around me. I wish I had known better knowledge and so many resources that I could have helped me. I was living in a state completely dependent on my husband and a stay-at-home mom. I would have left sooner if I had a prior knowledge. We would have been protected and safe. And I am now divorced and not in a marital abuse is a problem. It is very scary and a lot of people go through it th than people want to believe. She shared with us the most helpful in her j healing journey. My determination was so helpful. I did not want to be just satisfied. I just wanted to heal and become stronger. I exact. That's exactly what I did for years following the abuse. I felt like I became the person I want I was before the abuse. I missed that person. It took it took time, but finding myself again was the happiest feelings. If this story inspired you in any shape or form, please like Please subscribe and please share this video so it can inspire other people to understand sexual assault. And I will see you in the next video.